Just when I thought the summer movie season was done and over, the apes get smart and they rise. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So Rise of the Planet of the Apes is the story of how the apes rose, like how the Planet of the Apes came to be. And you see the gist of it in the trailer. James Franco and company are coming up with a serum that cures Alzheimer's, and one of the apes has all the effects of that serum, so James Franco takes a little baby ape home, names him Caesar, you know, behind the company's back. You can't have him known about that. Yeah, he'd get fired. And then he raises him. And because of the serum, Caesar is super smart. And it'll probably end badly for, you know, humanity. Now for me, there were a couple concerns in this movie. First of all, I didn't think I'd buy James Franco as a doctor. And yeah, I know, I've heard. Um, actually, Jeremy, James Franco's going for his PhD. Yeah, I know, and if I were rich, I'd have a PhD too. But the funny thing about this movie is, I thought James Franco was gonna be the main character, and you know, we'd see Caesar grow up, but you know, it'd concentrate on Franco. But it doesn't, like, at all. James Franco is a supporting character. The main character in this movie is actually Caesar. Yep, the CGI ape. I didn't expect that, and it really works for this movie. And the other thing I was worried about is, was the movie gonna illustrate that the ape was really smart? Or is he just, like, you know, an ape that they tell you is smart? But yeah, you can tell Caesar's not like other apes. At a point in the movie, and you see this in the trailer, Caesar gets taken away from James Franco, and he's among all these other apes, and you can tell he is smarter than them. They act like animals, he actually acts like a person, kind of. And when James Franco interacts with them, he interacts with them like a friend, so you feel that kind of connection. And when Caesar's in this, like, community ape holding place, he gets treated like shit by Draco Malfoy, and he gets really jaded in there, what anyone would. And I also really like that, that's when the movie became badass for me. I mean, I thought the whole Caesar thing was really cool, and it was like, alright, yeah, genetics, and you know, brain, and he's really smart, and I like that, but at a point in this facility, you see Caesar, something behind his eyes just snaps. And he's just like, yep, things are different now. And then he takes action. Caesar is one of the coolest characters in a movie like this year. Yeah, the CGI ape is one of the coolest characters in a movie this year. Believe it. He is an absolute badass. He is like the John Connor for apes. And you're on his side too, like at a point when he's all like, you're like, you know what? You go for it, buddy. You've earned it. You deserve it. This movie had some sweet moments too. Like when the apes are storming the place, that was cool. But there is one part in the movie, I'm not going to tell you what it was, but I didn't expect it and it happened and I was just like, holy shit, that just got real. It's an intriguing science movie mixed with like a rebellion freedom fighter movie. Sick thing is I was on the ape's side. I was like, dude, Caesar, lead him to freedom, which might make me an asshole because it's pretty much like saying, dude, Caesar, screw the human race. And I'm a human. It's weird. The only thing is that, you know, like you're like, how are apes going to take out human beings? We have Gatling guns and, well, Gatling guns. But it's not really like that. It's the start of the whole thing. So for what they end up doing in the movie, you buy it. You're not like, no, dude, that couldn't happen. So I was really teetering on the edge. I didn't know what I was gonna rate the movie. Is it buy it on Blu-ray? Is it awesome-tacular? But I gotta say, it's a really interesting movie for the first half. It's a really cool and exciting movie for the second half. And it involves one of the greatest lead performances of the year. The CGI ape, Caesar. Every time I say it, it sounds strange to me, but it just is. So I gotta say, the movie is awesome tacular Rise of the Planet of the Apes is what a reboot should be, or a prequel, whichever one you think it is. It's a reboot, but you know there's gonna be people who are gonna be like, um, actually, it's a prequel. Spider-Man's getting a reboot, dude. It's a reboot. So I hope they make a sequel to this movie. A sequel can go one of two ways, and I, I wanna see which way they go. So Rise of the Planet of the Apes, are you gonna see it? Have you seen it? If you've seen it, you wanna talk about it, so comment below, talk about it, let me know. What did you think? And if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.